There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world Hey love, so this is going to be a little long makeup tutorial video. The beginning of this video was actually already done and this was just a full detailed version of my eyebrows. So I decided to take clips from that video because this was actually done all at once. But I decided to do the brows separate. So if you want to see the full detailed video on that, you can go to my channel. Hopefully I'll remember to include it below. But as you guys see, I did draw my brow with the Ardell's pomade. And I'm going into this dip prom pomade which I did get from Amazon it's a dark color it's like dark brown um, and like an off blackish color but hopefully I'll remember to link that below that eyebrow pomade or the eyebrow pomade that I'm actually using right now is amazing because for one it does not come off it is like a 24 hour hold eyebrow gel and you can also use it as eyeliner but it works really good it's good if you have like oily skin if you want to go swimming if you exercise and working out then you'll definitely have to check out that brow pomade it comes in a set of two and it's dark brown and a black color the color that I'm using is like a black but I'm using it very lightly that's the reason why I'm putting it over the brow the brown color Ardell because it just will come out lightly but I do like that brow pomade that I'm using from Amazon I paid $5.99 for two of them like I said they came as a double set so I did put on my concealer which was the LA girls pro concealer and now I'm going to be putting on the amazing cosmetics concealer which is a little bit more closer to my eyelid or my skin tone color I just put on two because my skin is really oily and just to press the powder in and make sure that the concealer does not crease in my eyelids I'm just going to go ahead with my matte press powder in NC 42 and I'm just going to take my beauty blender which is by real techniques one of my favorite and I'm just going to blend that into my eyelids with the sponge now this is the morphe palette it's the matte palette I think there's like a couple of shimmers I can't remember which one it is but I'll remember to link it below for you guys and I'm just going to take like the neutral colors I think the whole palette is more or less like neutrals but this is like my favorite palette out of all the Morphe palettes I have about seven of them and this one happens to be my favorite and then there is also the one that's actually all matte that is my favorite so the one that I'm showing you here is more or less a little bit newer I got it around the holidays and me and my daughter Tati both have the same palette and it is one of our favorites like seriously I love this palette a lot so I'm just gonna take that color and just sweep it into my crease and above lesson I'm not a beauty guru I'm not a makeup artist I just do what's good for me and that's about it um, so yeah and I'll definitely link the colors below that I use because fortunately Morphe has now labeled their eyeshadows in their um, palettes I'm not really sure if they're all like that but this is the first one that I've ever gotten and it has the clear sheet and it has the names on it so anyway like I was saying I'm just gonna take these colors and I did change the color up a little bit and I'm just going to go ahead and blend that into my eyelid right over the first color and up a little bit not as much but just kind of like up I do like to just do regular neutral looks I'm not one to do like some crazy colors on my eyes because for one like I said I'm not a makeup artist I'm not a beauty guru I just do makeup for the fun I don't really teach you anything it's just all about fun so this is more or less like a brickish red color that I'm going to be just placing on the outer corner of my lid and a little bit in towards the inner portion of my lids if that's how you say it correctly um, the colors are really pretty in this palette like I said um, I think that anybody can wear these colors they're very neutral me myself particularly I do like neutral colors I don't really go for anything too loud because like I said I'm just I cannot do like the loud color makeup I can't blend it in good and then I feel like it starts looking like mud on me so I just stick to the neutrals now the eyeliner the liquid eyeliner is from the Dollar Tree and I actually do like it let me tell y'all something I used to could not do liquid eyeliner with these little tiny brushes to save my life like seriously I could not so I would just use the cream eyeliner with an actual makeup brush and that worked out fine for me and over time I just kept practicing and practicing and finally got the hang of how to hold these brushes and how to get the best angle now 
honestly i'm still not a pro at this eyeliner game because for one i have hooded eyelids so one of them is more hooded than the other which is the left one that's a little bit more hooded so i have my difficulties and one side i have to put out a little bit higher vice versa just so that way they can look even but just to correct any mistakes i'll just take my concealer as you see me right now and i'll just even up the lines and just tap it in and then i'm good to go now i'm going to be using some of that Issa laurent and this is the primer um oh god i'll make sure to list all the products below so this is the Issa laurent and now i'm going to be using the lancome so the Issa laurent primer is amazing like i love it it's great if you have dry skin oily skin any type of skin it is more or less like a blur out primer which is great i use it daily and especially for my brow areas and i'm also going to be using this other primer by Issa laurent it's all day wear i think it's called now this one really helps me a lot because this one keeps your makeup flawless for for hours and hours and hours and this is really good for me because I'm one that has very oily skin so I use them both as a combination because it just helps me kind of like even out my skin tone I'll use I'll use the Issa Laurent blur and then I'll go on top of it with the other one which I think is called all day wear now onto my concealer I'm just going to take this orange color and just place it down on the chin area because it is a little bit darker in that area and I'm going to be using the kiss blemish foundation along with the Georgiana um, foundation as well and I'm gonna have to mix them together just to get my color the kiss Bl um, blemish foundation is a little bit too red tone for me and my skin tone is more or less yellow tones so I did blend them together and I always come out with like the perfect color which is great it just fits my tone I'm not looking all reddish and crazy and actually matches me perfectly now the blemish can um, the blemish foundation from kiss it's a really nice buildable foundation you can just use one layer and you'll get like a nice coverage but if you're going for a more fuller co um, coverage you'll definitely want to just build it up and that is something you can definitely do with this foundation however I really don't use it as much because I started noticing that I was getting breakouts all along my jawline area and it would only be when I would put this foundation on so I had to stop using it but other than that it works out great it does give you like a nice finish now just to lighten up underneath my eyes I'm going to be using the Issa Laurent concealer along my jawline as well and the color that I use in this concealer is called buff or this I think it's bisque or buff it's one of the two but like I said I'll try hopefully and remember that but just to give it a little bit lighter complexion I'm going to be using fair beige in Jordana this is a foundation slash concealer and this is the Milani brand or their sister brand which is a lot more or not a lot but it's just a little bit cheaper you can also get that at Walgreens and just to contour with I'm going to be using the Lori is it L'Oreal or CoverGirl perfect match um, press powder and of course you definitely can use darker powders just to contour with and this is what I do with it right here the color that I'm using is the color called cocoa and I'll just take that because it gives me like a warm reddish tone as you guys can see more of a very, very warm earthy tone and that is the colors that I do like to contour with more warmer colors than opposed to, to cool colors so warmer tones for contouring is best for me sometimes I do use cool but it all depends on what particular area on my face so now you'll see me I will also go ahead and just contour just a little bit of my nose with this same um, I think it's L'Oreal True Match or Cover Curl Girl True Match Press Powder. Oh my God, I think I'm going crazy because I cannot remember for the life of me. But either way, like I said, I'll list it below. And I'm just going to contour my nose with that same press powder with my Morphe brush or half of a Morphe brush. Like I got to use this brush like a few times and th did the handle like fall off? Like, hello? I really did like this brush so I just you know I can definitely glue it back together but I don't have time for all that now this one is also another L'Oreal CoverGirl true match but this is a little bit cooler tone as you guys see I'm going to take it I'm going to place it on my nose because this is where I mostly do the cooler tones I don't really like the cooler tones too much alone by themselves so I definitely don't like apply them to certain areas of my face to me it just gives me like this weird look but I'm just going back in with the warmer tone the cocoa color and I'm just freshening it up a little bit because I felt like I needed to kind of like angle it a little bit more and just give it a little more in-depth precise you know chiseled look okay 
now trust me I don't really do too much glam makeup I try to keep it basic but I still like to make it look pretty on a normal day um, I probably won't wear eyeshadow I've kind of like just wear like eyeliner and foundation on my lids because sometimes doing makeup can take so long so now I'm gonna go ahead and blend that concealer in with my beauty blender this is like the best beauty blender in the world I swear to God this is the only one that I use which is by real techniques I love this little orange sponge like if you guys have the sponge let me know what you think about it because this is my favorite now unfortunately it seems like after I lost weight I started my face like on my left eyes you know I kind of got a little puffiness under the eyes after I lost weight I'm not sure if it's because my face lost weight or it's because I'm lacking of sleep I'm always so busy and I'm always working like believe it or not it's actually 1 16 a.m. right now while I am doing this voice over June 19th which is actually my birthday today so yes you guys it's June 19th and it is my birthday today and I am up still doing my work but I did promise one of my divas that I would post this video up for Tuesday because she did ask me about makeup tutorials that I did them anymore and I just told her that I was going to edit one tonight so I do try to keep my promises as best as possible so yes you guys but after this I'm definitely going to sleep so I'm going to go ahead with one of my favorite concealers cream concealer sticks foundation sticks which is elf I love elf makeup but did it get pricey over the years or what like I mean it's still really good affordable makeup but I guess everything has to rise in price but I do actually do like their cream foundation sticks I only use them to do like kind touring highlighting but still they serve the purpose their foundation their cream foundation um, also is really good too though now to just set my makeup I'm going to be using the Givenchy setting powder this is like a very very light lilac color I only use this one because I don't get any flashbacks I don't look chalky and dry like I do have Sasha butter cups and I do have other brands that are more or less like yellow tones but every time I use those I get flashbacks and I also put very very dry patches under my eyes so I don't use those now I'm going to take um, this mascara which is really like um I can't remember what brand this is it's nothing like expensive or anything like that but I like the bottom tip of the mascara wand because I can actually get right there precise on my lower lashes as you guys can see and it'll definitely bring them out and I love mascara brushes that are small like that for the lower and then for the top I always go for a bigger one but I have on brand new lashes today that I put on so yeah I didn't need any mascara not that much on my upper lids I'm just gonna go ahead and dust this like pressed powder off like I said I love that pressed powder no flashbacks and it gives me like the perfect color now Milani pressed powder is one of my favorite this is like the color tan or dark tan or medium tan I know it's 06 or 07. Either way, this is a color that I always use in Milani. Sometimes I'll go a shade lighter depending on the season. But I love the Milani pressed powder. This is one of my favorites. I got lucky. This is the last one on the clearance rack at Walgreens for four bucks. Um, they're not going out of business, but I actually do love that pressed powder. Now onto the setting spray, which is available at Ulta, and this is Revolution, and it was like eight bucks. And this girl, honey child, will make your makeup stay on good, especially if you have oily skin and just something really really inexpensive for the cheeks which is LA Colors um, blush in the color called Rose I do apologize about the color screen changing like that um, yeah it had to do with the sun I was actually sitting in front of the windows but this highlight right here okay let's just talk about this It's by Passion Jones on the YouTube and it is by her Glonista um, highlighting brand and this is bad and bougie or bright excuse me it's bright and bougie this is one of my favorite out of the collection I have every last one of them bright and bougie are my number one favorite I absolutely love this one okay 24 karat gold my daughter took because she absolutely loved it and you know what she is more of a brown tone so it looks so pretty on her I let her have that one but the lighter two in the collection I kept which is the bright and bougie and I think it was Glonista the other one either way there was um, a amazing sale that she had when she first started out so I definitely purchased all of them and I absolutely love them but just for a little bit extra glow I'm going to go ahead with the Ofra cosmetics and use that now I only use the Ofra cosmetics on my nose or like not even my nose my upper lip and my forehead but for my cheeks are basically my highlighting area I use the Glonista by um, Passion Jones now first of all Passion Jones makeup is 
really nice that highlight is like powerful you have to go lightly if you don't want to overdo yourself like see I'm just touching it up because I did spray and I wanted to make sure I have a little bit more but her highlight is like bomb super affordable they are ten dollars and I actually do like them and like I said if you want to blow up girl check out her website for glownista she also has her diamond spray which is a setting spray that i also do have and she does have like a liquid body oil that also has shimmer in it which i don't have as of yet but i would highly recommend the actual highlight now just to fix my lips up i'm just going to be using that avon lipstick that i got a few weeks ago and i do love the color so much and i thought it went well with my lips or actually my eyes and i did kind of like contour my lips and i'm also going to be using some AOA which is the Shop Miss A brand matte liquid lipstick along with that I'm going to be using another color by them just to give me a little bit of different kind of like ombre effect I love Shop Miss A where everything is a dollar girls and actually I got some new stuff from them that they sent me so we're going to be doing a first impressions bare faced with all Shop Miss A makeups except for my foundation because I do have the Milani foundation now that I actually love and foundation is hard for me to um, choose especially for my oily skin so I have to use like certain ones but yes we'll get to that video very very soon this right here is just that bomb ass wig by hair vb or hair bye bye and this is the kinky straight 360 lace front wig i absolutely love this wig i'm always rocking it next to my best lace wigs the curly one either one i go back and forth to like i have never found two wigs that were actually my favorite these two are them look how beautiful that hair is like the baby hair swoopage on it hunties and you know i can't go and i can't leave home without my green toothbrush like i have many different toothbrushes but that one is bomb now I did set it for like 10 minutes and then of course I took it off and now I'm just going to be using my brush just to straighten the hair out. This is actually the brush straightener and I did show you guys in a tutorial of that which I actually do love and as you guys can see this is the finished look. The hair came out so pretty and I'm just going to corn roll one side so that way I can keep it out of my face and this is how I like to wear my makeup. It's very neutral, nothing too glam, dramatic or anything like that, just neutral and cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll try to remember to list all of the information below for you guys. If I did forget, somebody please let me know. I love you guys. Stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs this video up and share with all your social media friends. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. And yeah, bye.